A massive fire in Azalef took 18 departments more than 12 hours to put out. Ultimately, crews had to demolish what was left of the downtown building on Sunday. Many are now without a home, and so much water was used to fight the flames, more had to be brought in from other cities. Good evening, I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. In the wake of that long firefight, a major concern from Eveleth community members was the depletion of the city's water supply. Northern News Now's Madison Green was in Eveleth and shares why city officials say the water supply is not in danger. A passerby reported smoke coming from the second story window of a building in downtown Eveleth around 5.30 Sunday morning. A fire continued to burn for the next 12 hours. You're pumping over eight hours, 4,000 gallons a minute. I mean, that's a lot of water. So that's when they make the decision that we need to do something else to, to help us out. In total, Eveleth city leaders say more than 2 million gallons of water was needed to put the fire out. Eveleth Water Tower holds about 750,000 gallons of water, but it took about three times that amount to put the fire out on Sunday. The tank is one of two facilities responsible for holding and supplying the entire city, residents and businesses included, with water. The other, a reservoir with a two million gallon capacity. It's over half full, so we have over a million gallons in it at all times. Ever want to pull a system dry? You could go probably four days on what they pumped out in eight hours. Luckily, they were able to bring water in from Virginia and Gilbert, two of the 18 neighboring fire departments helping to tame the flames. Well, it was about an hour into the incident, and the, the water demand on the hydrants that we had here, we were, pulling, we were pulling so much water we weren't keeping up, so we devised a plan, and then we started having issues, so we initiated the plan. The water supply is already refilling. It will cost the city to treat and replace the water, but residents do not have to worry about running out of water. We never got to the point that I was afraid of running out of water, but that's why, like I said, with the help of other communities, bringing in some water sources that really helped us out. In Eveleth, Madison Green, Northern News Now. Madison, thank you. Now, everyone in the building that was there was able to get out safely. Uh, again, the Red Cross is putting those people that are impacted in secure places tonight. Uh, again, we want to thank all of our firefighters for helping to secure this fire.